Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hey there, so glad you are here and welcome to the show. Today we talk about tuition insurance and how it all works. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. A credit union that offers Bitcoin? Give me five. (laughs) For a limited time only, get $5 of free Bitcoin through the Southland Credit Union app. Enrollment is quick and easy. There's no hidden fees, and you can conveniently fund Bitcoin purchases directly from a Southland account. Claim your free Bitcoin today by going to thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland. Bitcoin accounts and services provided by NIDIG. Not NCUA insured. Restrictions apply to Bitcoin bonus. See terms. And don't forget to check out thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland to sign up. So I was recently asked a question by a reader about the drawbacks of getting a private student loan. She asked why she shouldn't get a private student loan when interest rates are so low right now, she would need to co-sign with her daughter on the loan in order to get the best rate. My advice was as follows. The biggest danger of a private student loan is that the co-signer is also liable for the debt. So, should something happen to your daughter and she can't graduate and earn income, she will be on the hook for the debt. However, there are options to protect parents when it comes to paying their children's tuition. Tuition insurance. So, today, we're giving you our best insights into tuition insurance and sharing our top picks for tuition insurance providers. First of all, What is tuition insurance? When you purchase a home, you buy homeowner's insurance. When you buy a car, you protect it with, of course, auto insurance. While you don't make these payments expecting an accident to occur, you buy insurance to guarantee that if the unexpected happens, you're going to be protected. As tuition rates continue to climb at both public and private institutions, college is one of the biggest investments that people make. When you're spending tens of thousands of dollars to fund your education, tuition coverage can provide you with peace of mind in case things don't quite go as planned. So while your college or university may not reimburse you if you get sick and have to drop out mid-semester, a tuition insurance provider will. Tuition insurance is a product offered by a handful of providers who safeguard your investment in a college education. They cover the cost of your tuition if you must withdraw for one of the reasons agreed upon in the policy. Okay, so that transitions to what exactly does tuition insurance cover? Tuition isn't cheap, the uh, understatement of the century. According to the College Board, the average cost of public university in-state tuition in 2018 and 19 is just to tick over 21 grand, with a private education coming in at 48 thousand five hundred bucks yikes without tuition insurance if you have to withdraw from school for medical reasons especially after the school's withdrawal deadline typically no more than a month you can probably go ahead and kiss that 20 to 50k goodbye tuition insurance is designed to help you avoid that scenario with most policies covering up to around 50 grand per year while one provider might vary from the next You can generally expect to find coverage for withdrawal due to the following reasons. Medical disability withdrawal, death of the student, or other disability withdrawal, such as emotional, mental, or nervous disorders. Outside of those reasons, eh, you'll be on your own. Tuition insurance does not equate to dropout insurance, so you can't get reimbursed if you voluntarily withdraw. In other words, Your tuition insurance policy will not pay out for academic withdrawals like you failing out of your classes, expulsion, or transferring to another school. Companies who offer tuition insurance Tuition insurance is only offered by a few select carriers who specialize in this type of coverage. So let's take a look at what each of them has to offer. GradGuard GradGuard is our top pick for tuition insurance, and it's really easy to see why. GradGuard is designed specifically to help college students and their parents to protect their investment in a college education, offering coverage at hundreds of colleges and universities nationwide. GradGuard offers two insurance products, tuition insurance and college renter's insurance. 
partnering with Alliance Global, a reputable carrier, GradGuard markets 100% reimbursement for tuition and room and board when you withdraw due to serious medical conditions, chronic conditions, or even psychological reasons. They also help with travel arrangements for parents to visit their hospitalized students and transportation arrangements for injured and ill students. The company touts an a rating from credit rating agency AM Best, making them a reliable carrier. Now let's take a look at AWG Dewar. AWG Dewar is another provider offering tuition insurance for both K-12, private schools, and colleges and universities. Dewar has offered its college tuition refund plan for nearly a century, providing coverage for tuition and room and board for verified medical withdrawals. Dewar's plan works to first supplement the college or university's step-down refund, if there is one, then fully reimburse tuition beyond that amount for the rest of the semester. The company has an A rating from AM Best, demonstrating its reputability as an insurance provider. Dewar also claims to offer competitive low rates on its tuition insurance policies, which cover a significant amount of the tuition paid. If you're looking for low premiums at the expense of slightly less expansive coverage, Dewar could be a good option. Education Insurance Plans So this is an agency that offers riders and life insurance products tailored to college students rather than the typical tuition insurance as we've talked about earlier. EIP markets itself as an agency who protects education lenders, students, and parents with more targeted needs than just simply reimbursing tuition. One unique offering from EIP is its Ensure My Trip plan, which is designed for college students studying abroad. This plan, provided by Nationwide, does offer tuition protection if your academic study abroad trip is canceled or interrupted due to evacuation or medical emergencies. So some of these policies also come with additional benefits like luggage protection, emergency assistance, and travel assistance. Beyond its study abroad tuition assistance, EIP offers access to affordable term life insurance with Haven Life and Emeritus Disability Insurance with student loan riders. Okay, now we ask and answer, should college students and parents actually purchase tuition insurance? Knowing what tuition insurance has to offer, your interest may be piqued. So as you decide whether or not you need tuition coverage, here are just a few factors to keep in mind. Withdrawal period. Timing is everything. If you withdraw within the first few weeks of the semester, you may already be covered by the school's policy. Withdraw at the very end, and you may be able to make arrangements with professors to receive a passing grade and gain credit for the course. Coverage length. Typically, your policy will only cover the current semester. It's up to you to decide if that time period is worth the risk. What's actually covered? Tuition insurance only covers approved health issues, restricting its usefulness to a small time frame with a limited area of coverage. Cost. Compared to some other types of insurance, tuition coverage is pretty affordable. You could be spending merely hundreds of dollars to cover a $50,000 tuition investment. Your medical needs. If you have a medical condition and fear it could interfere with your education and the condition is covered, you might want to go ahead and consider a policy. College tuition is costly, but tuition insurance isn't. You ultimately need to weigh the costs and the risks to decide if tuition insurance is the right call for you. You should also see what your college or university's refund policy already is. Just like your tuition itself, your insurance policy is an investment, and it generally has a low return. Now, here's how much it costs. Tuition insurance costs around 1% of the total tuition amount on average. So, for example, if you took out a standard tuition semester-long protection plan with GradGuard for $20,000, your total cost would be $198. That $198 would cover up to the full tuition amount for approved illnesses, injuries, psychological disorders, the death of the student, the passing of the student or tuition payer, and up to $1,000 for housing, books, and other fees. It's great coverage for the cost, as long as your withdrawal is due to one of the policy's covered conditions. Another piece of good news is that the policy amounts are flexible. With GradGuard's free quoting tool, 
You can enter your school and set the amount of coverage, meaning you can opt to cover only a portion of your tuition if you choose. Tuition coverage to look for. Okay, so with so few carriers offering tuition insurance, you can expect to find similar policies and premiums across the board. But at a base level, you should look for the most comprehensive policy within your budget that meets your needs. If you have a pre-existing condition, make sure to read the fine print and be sure that a related incident during the semester will actually be covered. A solid policy like the ones offered by Alliance will cover severe injuries, illnesses, including pre-existing ones, and anxiety and depression. You can also find coverage that encompasses family emergencies for a higher cost, and for an even more heightened cost, you can opt into a policy that covers any unexpected incident leading to your withdrawal during the semester. Here's what you need to apply for tuition insurance. Applying for tuition insurance is really easy. With most tuition insurance policies, you aren't required to undergo a medical exam to get coverage. You just simply input the coverage term and amount, enter your personal information, and select a policy that fits your needs. After paying for your insurance policy, your coverage will take effect for the duration of the semester you determined in your application. Here's how to file a claim if you need to. GradGuard's filing process involves the student or tuition payer, the school's registrar's office, and the doctor involved in the case. After consenting to a release of your medical and academic information, the dean's and registrar's office fills in paperwork, which verifies the reason for your withdrawal and the amount of the student's tuition the school will reimburse, if applicable. The physician then answers a series of questions confirming the circumstances of the student's injury or illness and their recommendation that the student withdraw. Bottom line, tuition insurance can be a great value. If you're going to be paying for your child's education, tuition insurance can be a worthwhile investment. But if you are co-signing a loan for your child's education, tuition insurance is a must to ensure that you are protected should something happen to your child. If you're a student paying your own way through college, tuition insurance can be an affordable solution to protecting your investment in case anything goes wrong. And that is our show for today. I hope it answered a lot of questions for you and just was genuinely helpful. If you found this helpful, you think it could help somebody else, feel free to share this podcast. We'd greatly appreciate it. And you can also check us out at thecollegeinvestor.com to find the links and resources we mentioned today in the podcast. Follow us on social media too. We'd love to get to know you and help you achieve your financial goals. Thanks so much for stopping by today and we'll talk to you again real soon.